Sang Noor, a doctor from Cambodia who won an Oscar for his touching role in The Killing Fields. Rick Fredrickson reports. What many Americans know about Cambodia comes to them through the movie The Killing Fields, the story of the beginning of the slaughter of more than a million Cambodians by the Khmer Rouge. The movie ends on a happy note. Forgive me. Nothing's bugging me. Nothing. But for many Cambodians today, there is no happy ending. The terror of the Khmer Rouge has been replaced by the occupation of the Vietnamese. This is one of the tragedies of present-day Cambodia, a place called Site 2 in Thailand. The second largest city of Cambodian people in the world is a refugee camp. Less than five miles from the border, more than 135,000 Cambodians live in this vast bamboo refugee camp. Here, too, the border between fact and fiction becomes blurred. Hang Moore, the Oscar-winning actor, has come back, back to the suffering in the camp. Before he fled his homeland, Moore was a doctor. Most of his family died at the hands of the Khmer Rouge. But Moore says the Vietnamese domination is worse. We need homeland, Mike. We need peace and we need freedom. As he goes from patient to patient, Moore not only tends to their wounds, but preaches the gospel of resistance against the Vietnamese. Keep in your strong mind. One day, we see our homeland back. I'm the star in Hollywood, right? But what for? Star what for? Did you see my people, suffering people here? That's my people. That's my heart. That's my nation here. In Hollywood, what for? Mean nothing for me. Nothing. Moore is writing his autobiography, which he hopes to turn into a screenplay about the plight of his people. But Hang Ngor can go back to the United States. For the rest of the refugees here, they can only wait. Wait to go back to a home many of them have never seen. Rick Fredrickson, CBS News, along the Thai-Cambodian border. That's our news this Saturday. I'm Susan Spencer.